Is this the end of UGC content creators? One of my favorite AI tools just launched a big update called HeyGen Agent. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining what HeyGen Agent is, showing you some real world examples, explaining its limitations, and also talking about how this is shaping the future of AI video. So be sure to stick around until the very end. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan and I help founders, executives, and creators leverage AI to scale content, build trust, and grow a strong personal brand online. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools, prompts, and even some of my favorite automation templates, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this in the video description or pinned comment below. Now, if this is your first time hearing about HeyGen Agent, this is a brand new offering within HeyGen's platform that allows you to generate professional videos from simple text prompts. Before I go too far down the rabbit hole, I'm gonna go ahead and play one of these as an example here so you can see what this looks like in action. I'm gonna play this one. So this right here is, is an example of someone or from the community or within HeyGen who created this video of a UGC creator reviewing Poppy in a vertical 30 second short form style content that can be posted on YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, etc. Before I play this, what I like about what they presented here within these community creations is how they actually made these. And so what they did is they uploaded these short videos and images of Poppy, the actual product of Poppy, and then they also provided the prompt here that they used to generate this. So if you wanted to recreate this, you definitely could. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this now and you guys can see what this looks like. Healthy low calorie soda? Wait a second. Yeah, that's right. It's poppy and it tastes like so. Wait a second. Now I'm not gonna play the rest of that due to any copyright issues with the background music, but that's one example of what you can generate with HeyGen Agent, in addition to all these other community examples that they have here that include the prompts and whatnot for each one. HeyGen also has this uh, agent prompt library, video agent prompt library. So I'll leave a link to this and all the relevant examples in the video description below if you guys are curious about that. But in terms of actually accessing HeyGen Agent and how do you do that? Well, first and foremost, you have to be on a paid version of HeyGen. If you're on a free plan, you do not get access to this agent mode. In addition to being on a paid plan, you also have to get on a wait list. Now, I joined the wait list a few weeks ago and I just got this email a couple days ago saying, you're, hey Ryan, you're one of the first to try the HeyGen Agent Beta. Thank you for being here. So keep in mind, I've been a customer of HeyGen for probably almost two years at this point. So I might've been elevated a little bit on that waiting list. So if you're just joining now, maybe I'd expect a week, two weeks, three weeks. I'm not really sure how they're rolling this out to their paid users, but I do know that you have to be on a paid plan in order to get access to this agent mode. So here's HeyGen's pricing page. If I search for the word agent, uh, which is interesting enough, they're not including that anywhere in their pricing right now, but Creator does start at $29 a month. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna sign up for HeyGen. Like I said, if you're trying to access the agent mode on that free plan, you're not gonna be able to access it. And in terms of how they even started HeyGen Agent, well, they acquired a company. I ended up doing some research on this before I recorded this video. They acquired this company called Elisa. Um, and so with that, the former co-founder and CEO, Ben Liu, uh, he joined the team of HeyGen. So I'll leave this uh, little press release here in the video description below if you're curious. But that is how this HeyGen agent started. They acquired a company that was already performing this type of technology, and then they just acquired that company and then integrated it into their platform. Now, I didn't even mention this. They also went through a little rebrand here with a new logo, new text, et cetera. So HeyGen is definitely making some major updates behind the scenes in addition to launching just this agent feature. So now I'm gonna walk through quickly how to create a video using HeyGen Agent. And in this example, I'm just gonna be using a prompt here that I use ChatGPT to help me come up with, basically generating a UGC style video to promote a podcast microphone. Now you can get more in the weeds here like that Poppy example did that I just showed you, but I'm gonna keep it here uh, just for this example. So I'm gonna copy this, come back to HeyGen, click Video Agent on the left-hand side, 
Now, if you have assets within your HeyGen account, if I click choose from assets, I can definitely pick one of these. So I already have one of my headshots here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click my headshot. And then I think that's the only asset that I want to use in this example. Well, first, I should probably paste in that prompt. That might be a good idea for that. And then in terms of length, I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, let's do 30 seconds uh, just because this prompt isn't too detailed here. Actually, let's do 60 because I told it 40 to 50 seconds. Uh, we want this in vertical style as if I would post this to Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok. Um, and that's it. Now, you can make this prompt as detailed as you want. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this example. So I'm going to go ahead and click enter. And then it's going to go through this entire process of what it, or how it's going to generate this UGC style video. Now, after a few seconds, it did pause here. It didn't create the video yet. What's nice about this is it stops before it just generates the video and it comes up with all these different features, topic, audience, music theme, video length, uh, B-roll, voice, avatar, etc. And then it says, if this looks good to you, type proceed to continue with this plan. So if all of this looks good, you would simply just type proceed and then click enter. Now, if you don't like what it says here, you can say, maybe I want to change the script plan. Maybe I want to change the video length and just give it in this exact text box as a response of what you all want changed. Now, another little feature here, if I click reasoning, it's showing me exactly how it's coming up with all of these details, similar to ChatGPT's reasoning mode, where it has that drop down and you can see all what it's thinking behind the scenes of how it came up with this response. So in this example, I'm just going to say uh, proceed, click enter, and then it's going to actually generate the video. So I'm going to come back and wait till this is complete. All right. So after a few minutes, my video is now ready to play. And just keep in mind, A, this is not my actual clone within HeyGen. It doesn't have my voice. And also, if you don't like something, you can come back to the text box and prompt it, hey, make it shorter. Hey, maybe change the script to talk about this or change this B-roll video. You can request all sorts of edits here within a simple text and conversation style format, similar to ChatGPT, which is actually what I like here. So now let's go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. If you're still using cheap earbuds, you're holding yourself back. I used to think my audio was fine, but switching to a real podcast mic, it instantly made my video so obviously we know that's not how I sound. It's using like a generic AI voice there, but not terrible. I mean, the mouth movements are a little off and the movements off and obviously my voice is off, um, but not bad, right? In the scheme of things, considering that only took two minutes to make. Um, so that's just a really quick example of what you can do. Now you can download it, you can share it, you can do all sorts of things with it. But if I go back to my projects here, I actually went ahead and generated uh, some other examples just so I had these ready to go for this video. Uh, and so this one, I think I used chat GPT to generate the script. This is like a pure, you know, AI avatar, UGC avatar that I used from HeyGen. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. So if I click on it, let's go ahead and click play. Feeling drained by afternoon? I used to feel so drained by the afternoon, but switching to a standing desk has been a- Yeah, I don't like that one at all. His mouth movements are terrible. I don't like the audio of that one. Uh, here's another one that I created with one of HeyGen's pre-made avatars. Hey everyone. Let's chat about something super simple that makes a huge difference for our planet, reusable grocery bags. So that's a little better than the other one. And then I'm just gonna show you one more example that I did make on my own. So let's see what this one looks like. Hey everyone, grocery shopping just got easier. Tired of flimsy plastic bags that always rip? He's so I don't like that at all, right? The, the, the voice to me sounds more AI robotic-like, the mouth movement's bad. One thing that I'm glad that it showed this, one thing that you have to be very careful of when you're doing this AI video and it pulls B-roll images and B-roll videos in the background, notice how it still has these watermarks right here. So number one, there could be copyright issues potentially with that, but even past that, let's say there are no copyright issues, that just looks like garbage. If I ever saw that on an Instagram reel or a TikTok or a YouTube short and I see the watermarks, your credibility goes out the window for me and I'm just gonna scroll past that. So keep that in mind as you're generating these, but again, it's still in beta mode. So these are some of the kinks that the team at HeyGen probably is still working out in the meantime. But regardless, that's a quick synopsis of HeyGen Agent. 
Now, the last thing I want to call out about Hey Gen Agent before we get way too excited and get this all hyped up here is I'm super frustrated that I cannot use my own Ryan Dozer AI avatar and then create videos using text prompts. What do I mean by this? So if I go to my avatars, click Ryan Dozer, here are all my different avatars that I've created to help me generate my realistic clone that looks and sounds just like me. So when I go into the agent mode, you would think that if I click this box here, click the plus icon, choose from assets, that I would be able to find and use my own AI avatars with certain text prompts to make videos that way. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, I am not able to do that. So I have to default to images that I can upload from my computer or rely on HeyGen to create just generic UGC AI avatars. I'll be honest with you, I think this is a big deal because a lot of these generic AI avatars, they suck in my opinion. The mouth movements aren't there. The voices are robotic. And honestly, it just feels a little unethical if you're gonna make some UGC videos and not and not even use your own look or own voice to do so. But that's a, that's a conversation for another day. And the reason I'm bringing this up is I need to mention a competitor that's come into the mix. I did a video on these guys last week. This is called Agent Opus. This is the AI video agent offering by Opus Clip. Now, if you haven't heard of Opus Clip, they're a popular AI tool that repurposes long form videos into engaging short form clips. And they have come up with a similar product called Agent Opus, where you can input a text prompt and URLs and other sorts of files, and it'll generate short form videos. Now, what's different about Agent Opus, and by the way, you have to join a wait list for this one too, it's also in beta mode. What's different here, at, at least right now, the day I'm recording this video, is you can actually use a voice clone. So I have my own Ryan Dozer voice clone that I can use with these videos on Agent Opus that I cannot do with the HeyGen agent. Now, these voice clones suck, they're not good. I hope there's some API integration with Eleven Labs where I can upload you know, longer files in 30 seconds at some point, but at least they're getting there and they're working on these things. Versus hey, Jen, I don't know what they're working on behind the scenes, but the fact that I can't use my own voice from Eleven Labs or the own actual avatars of myself that are within HeyGen, that's extremely frustrating as a user. And speaking of this, Agent Opus actually tweeted this today, which is, which is funny timing, that they're adding AI clone voice plus avatar into Agent Opus soon. They say right here, AI avatar is coming to Agent Opus soon. Join the wait list here. So Agent Opus appears to already be working on this. I actually replied to this tweet, funny enough, and I said, I had a call with your team a few weeks ago and brought this up as an idea, at least give me some credit, which is true. The team at Opus Clip contacted me, I had a conversation with them, um, but that's a whole other, whole other deal there. I just wanted to call out that it looks like Agent Opus is on top of this with getting an AI clone, an AI voice, into its Agent Opus offering versus we do not have that in HeyGen yet. So I hope the team at HeyGen potentially listens to this or watches this as that is one update that I really wanna see is being able to use my own AI avatars with my own voice and then using the text or using the text prompts to generate creations with those assets. So I could keep rambling on about this and I doubt you wanna hear that. So if you've made it this far into the video, I truly do appreciate you. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you found value. And also be sure to comment below. I'm gonna hear your thoughts on HeyGen Agent, Agent Opus, what you guys think of AI video agents right now. Your support really means a lot and I love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.